bound to the iron will of the tyrant Lich King, the vast undead armies of the Scourge seek to eradicate all life on Azeroth. Led by the Banshee Sylvanas Windrunner, a group of renegades broke away from the Scourge and freed themselves of the Lich King's domination. Known by some as the Forsaken, this group fights a constant battle, not only to retain its freedom from the Scourge, but also to slaughter those who would hunt them as monsters. With Sylvanas as their Banshee Queen, the Forsaken have built a dark stronghold beneath the ruins of Lordaeron's former capital city. This hidden undercity forms a sprawling labyrinth that stretches beneath the haunted woods of the Tirisfal Glades. Though the very land is cursed, the zealous humans of the Scarlet Crusade still cling to their scattered holdings, obsessed with eradicating the undead and retaking their homeland. Convinced that the primitive races of the Horde can help them achieve victory over their enemies, the Forsaken have entered an alliance of convenience. Harboring no true loyalty for their new allies, they will go to any lengths to ensure their dark plans come to fruition. As one of the Forsaken, you must massacre any who pose a threat to the new order, human, undead, or otherwise. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to some classic WoW. Today we start leveling my priest, which is going to be Shadow, hopefully. Fresh from the grave, so let's go. Classic WoW, boys. Get ready. First quest. About time you woke up, we were ready to toss you into the fire with the others. But it looks like you made it. I am Mordor, the caretaker of the crypt. Okay. We got our first quest. Rude awakening. So we need to open the quest log and we need to find out what we need to do. We need to speak to Shadow Priest Savis. I'm guessing he's going to be down in this town at the bottom because that's where everybody else is running. So let's go speak to my guy. Get some quests done. I've changed all my graphic settings. I've set up a bunch of key bindings. I've got all my bars and that and they're all ready to go. So as soon as we start unlocking spells, oh my god, this is a lot of people. Holy fuck, this is a lot of people. Easy questing, boys. We just follow everybody else. That's all we got to do. We just got to tag the mobs and follow everybody else. We're going to get some flax gloves off this, boys. We're gear already here is the guy that we're gonna learn all our spells from we got this priest spells we got holy priest spells we got shadow magic spells let's go shadow word paint it costs one silver damn expensive bro this costs 10 copper i could actually get this right now but i don't have 10 copper damn feels bad all right what we gotta do for this quest we need to kill eight mindless zombies and we need to kill eight wretched zombies and we should be good this is gonna be hard to do because you know there's like a bunch of people here. I've never seen this many people questing in one zone ever. Holy fuck, this is a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. I don't think I need to kill this, but we're just gonna kill it anyway. Smite the living shit out of it. Losing mana like crazy right now, but it's dead. Look at that, easy copper, boys. Easy copper. As soon as we get 10 copper, we can go buy power word fortitude. I don't even think I need to be killing these. Now nah, these are the rattle cage skeletons. We need to be killing the mindless zombies, which are these ones. Wretched zombies I can kill too. Get all my smites on the way. Nice, there we go. And now that I've killed one of them, it shows on the right hand side of the screen. That's pretty nice. Oh, give me a smite. Does this count? Nah, no, it doesn't count. I gotta get the tags. AIDS. Tag this guy. Come on. Tag, tag. Do I get it? Hey, I get it. Let's go. Dealing tags, boys. This is gonna be a long quest. Can already see. Do I get the tag? I got the tag. Let's go. Playing for the tags out here, man. That's literally all we're doing. This is probably gonna be the longest quest I've ever done. Just waiting for the mobs to turn up. Quick, 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 quick. Gotta be quick. Let me go whack this guy. I'm out of mana. That's not good, but I needed to get the tag. We're just gonna have to whack him to death. Hey, we got the first level. Let's go. I was gonna say, did we unlock anything? But yeah, we probably unlocked something, but we need to go to the fucking guy to learn it. Oh, we got two mindless zombies here. Oh my god, I'm gonna take two of them at once. I don't even care. Give me the tags. Hey, I got the tags. Let's go. I'm out here tagging these mobs, boys. You ain't gonna stop me. I'm out here. I'll take two of them all day, every day. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Gimme, 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 gimme. I'm not gonna lie. The struggle is real out here. This is the most players I've ever seen in a leveling zone at once. Crazy. I only need one more mindless zombie and I'll be good. I'll just kill this guy. I only need one. In fact, I'm tagging him anyway because it's fucking... It's XP. I need the XP. I'll tag this guy too. I'll take three on at once. 1v3 in vanilla. The knockback on my cast is hella hard right now. Am I even going to get a cast off? Yes, I will get a cast off. It just takes like four seconds. Maybe five. All right, we need to kill four more wretched zombies and then we should be good. I'm killing everything I see because it actually gives decent XP. So you might as well take it. Take what you can get, boys. No! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. 
Give me both of them. Give me both of them, man. I've completed the quest. Let's go. I got both of them. Feels good, man. Feels good. Quest complete. Power leveling. 1 to 60 in 2 seconds. Okay, quest complete. So we need to hand this in. We need to get some new spells. Because I think we can get some Shadow Priest spells, some Disc Priest spells, and some Holy Priest spells. Let's go ahead and have a look. We can definitely unlock this. And we can't unlock anything else because we don't have any gold. Damn, feels bad, man. We don't have any silver to unlock any of the other spells. We can't unlock rank 2 smite. We can't get Shadow pinks we don't have silver asa feels bad man right there i don't know how that shadow priest is running around with fucking shadow head pin unless he's a higher level okay let's take these hands because they give us six armor equip those bad boys let's get all these quests i tell you what's gonna get annoying is waiting for the quest to finish talking and then accepting it like this part here this is gonna get hella annoying like, is there a setting or something that i can just like insta accept like hello struggles of vanilla right here boys all right we need to hand a quest in over here hallowed scroll easy peasy complete quest easy xp can't unlock shadow of pain yet can't unlock any of these can't unlock powered shield feels fucking bad man we also got powered fortitude which increases my stamina by free not by 10 percent by free right so we've got to kill some dusk bats which if i remember rightly they're over here and we need to kill some rattle cages so let's just go kill the dusk bats real quick i'm coming over here to do this quest first because i'm hoping there's not gonna be as many people over here back over there there's like so many people it's hard to get the tags on them i was on that first quest for so long give me your dusk bat boy give me that dusk bat we need to get ahead of all these plebs so that we can actually just get quests done fast without having to wait for mobs to fucking spawn and shit all right, i'm gonna crack on with this quest anyway boys i'll be back with you guys once i have completed it because i have killed a million of these dusk bats and a million of these little wolves and I am, I'm just not collecting anything. So I'll be back with you guys once I've completed it. Holy shit, we've nearly leveled just by killing mobs. We've not even had to hand the questing. We've killed that many fucking mobs. Like it's legit taken that long to get fucking six scavenger paws. I've nearly leveled. And now we gotta go kill the rattle cage skeletons. So I mean, we're definitely gonna level. I've been killing a few rattle cage skeletons here and there while I've been doing the other quest just to try and make it faster. Obviously, if I see when I'm gonna kill it. But I thought I'd go do the Duskbat one first because I knew it was gonna be a pain in the ass. Cause it sometimes can be a pain in the ass on live. But I mean, you get much more loot on live. It doesn't take that long. And that took hella long i'd say about five to ten minutes that just took that one quest it's fine though it's classic let's go leave a like and a comment down below if you're still watching i'm saying that because i feel like i've been playing for about five hours straight after doing that quest anyway we just gotta kill these rattle cage skeletons then we can hand the quest in i can't remember what quest comes after this maybe we gotta go over to that part over there kill that guy i think that's what happens oh no we probably gotta show lily in her face yeah probably gotta show lily in her fucking ugly mug that's fine though i ain't got a problem with doing that it's just a struggle at the moment like i didn't expect this many people People to be on like the server is fucking rammed with level ones like i wonder what it's like in all the other zones like if i was to make an orc would it be this rammed like who knows like undead must just be this popular and undead's an actual really fucking sick race in vanilla to be playing the racial is insane i think the racial for undead actually lasts five seconds after yeah it does so after you get out of a charm a fear it lasts for five seconds after so you can't get re-feared instantly which is crazy good and it doesn't dr with trinket if you unlock a trinket or even if there is a trinket i think there's a trinket 100 there is a trinket but it's a level 60 i wouldn't be surprised if we get another level before we complete this quest because i've not seen a rattle cage skeleton in a long time anyway i'm gonna speed this up again for you guys okay i found out a farming pattern one spawns here first and then after this guy spawns free spawn on this row here so if we just wait for this guy to spawn i mean we only need one more but for anybody doing this quest and it can be really aids if the server's packed one spawns here, after this guy spawns, three of them spawn in a row over here. You just gotta be fast enough to get there and get the tags. It's probably faster to just walk up to them and hit them, honestly. I've just equipped a mace too. I don't even know if it's any good. So this guy spawns, whack him, you've got the tag. I'm gonna throw a smite him just in case. And then you run around here. And then you get ready to tag these, but this mage has got the fastest cast time on the planet. One spawns here, 
get the tag on him instantly, and then there'll be another one spawning somewhere around here in a second. Not 100% sure, I think he might spawn behind us somewhere. Or in fact, he might have been further around this corner. Anyway, we've got some new gear, so let's go ahead and equip this. We've got some flax boots, and we have some flax braces, so we're all flaxed up now. Look at that, look at that. We're out here, boys. Let's get this new quest from Marla. Well, from the novice Elref. And what is it she wants us to do? Bring Samuel Phipps remains to Marla's grave, then return to novice Elref. Samuel remains buried. Hmm. I actually don't know where that quest is. I have an idea, but not like... I'm not 100% sure as to where to go for that. Anyway, we've got a few other quests around here too, so let's just go ahead and accept all of those, and then we can do the others before we do the Samuel Remains Buried, because I have no idea on what to do for that at the moment. But we will figure it out, because we are classic players. But first, let me go ahead and equip my Shadowhead Pain, because this is going to help out a bunch. Okay, so we got to go over to the caves now, kill some spiders, we have to get some scavenging to goods from scavenging death now. I think the scavenging goods quest is over that way. I could be wrong, but I think it is. And I think that might be where you do the Mala's Last Wish quest too. Okay, we're here. Let's go kill some spiders. I fucking hate spiders, but we're gonna kill them. We need to kill some big spiders too. Oh my god, look at that. There's a night web right there. Where are the big ones? Isn't there like meant to be big ones in here? Oh my god, this fucker keeps resisting my smites. Can you please just die? Thank you. Uh, that's one in the bag. Look how fucking immersive this is. Going through the cave, boys. Gotta go get me some spiders. Boulders. Okay, looks like literally everybody has cleared this place out. There, there's no spiders left live. Like, they're all dead. These people hate spiders. Legit cannot find a single spider. These guys have killed them all. Honestly, guys, like, when Classic releases and everybody's playing the game, good luck doing quests. Good luck. You want to log online at, like, fucking 3 a.m. in the morning when there's nobody here because if you're if you're questing when other people are questing, I'm telling you, there's not... You, it's going to take you about half an hour to do one quest. And then you've got to remember it's Classic so drop chances are like a lot lot less like you, you gotta be really fucking lucky and when there's a million people online and they're all playing at the same time trust me it's gonna take at least half an hour per quest in the starting zone easily like go make a tauren or something make something that everybody hates like who the fuck wants to play a tauren just make a tauren it'll be easy for you i've walked around this cave about fucking six times now and i've killed what two spiders i've not seen any young ones yet but i think those are all outside maybe i should just go back outside and kill some of the fucking young ones okay how how the fuck do I get back out? Guys, if this YouTube series ever stops, it's because I'm stuck on a quest. That is 100% why. It's not because I rage quit. It's because I got stuck on a quest. And I'll just be stuck there for the rest of my life trying to complete it. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I ain't like that. Okay, quick update. We've managed to kill the young nightwebs outside. Now we gotta go back inside and kill the actual nightweb spiders, which is gonna be a pain in the ass because inside there's so many people. It's like it's fucking impossible. Questing is too hard in vanilla. Confirmed. Right here, boys. Confirmation by Herbderp TV. Game is too hard. Needs nerfing slash buffing, whichever. Make it easier, please. Holy fuck, boys. The quest is finally complete. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go hand this quest thing, and then we will go and do the rest of them. We've actually nearly leveled just from killing those mobs again, so we're gonna go ahead and get this flax vest, equip this flax vest. Oh my god, look at that. Level 5, boys. Let's go, flax vest. There we go. We're, we're actually looking pretty nice now. What did that flax vest actually give us? Gave us 10 armor instead of 3. 
Very nice. In favor of darkness. Give me the quest, please. Speak faster. Okay, just keep speaking, keep speaking. Ten days later, thank you very much. <laughs> let's see if I can learn anything new. Let's, let's just fucking learn it, GG, let's go. We need to get level six, then we can unlock powered shield. We also got another quest from my guy over here, the Executor Aaron, gonna give me a quest. Ah, right, so this is the Scarlet Crusade quest. So we need to uh, go kill some of those twats over there. Okay, so from what I can remember, the quest is over in this direction. Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit quieter over here because over, over here is just fucking rammed with level ones. Oh my God, look at all those people trying to kill that one guy. Holy fuck, getting the tag on that guy is gonna be AIDS. We'll probably just join a group so we get the tag instantly. Yeah, this place is just even more fucked than the other place. So the Scarlet Armbands, we're probably gonna actually get them from killing the Scarlet Converts. Holy fuck, my first Scarlet Armband. I was actually thinking I was doing the wrong thing because it's taken that long just to get one armband. Like, I killed like, what, five, six, seven mobs and I'm not a single armband? Holy fuck, boys. And now they're dropping like crazy. What the fuck? I just got like three in a row. I've glitched this looting system and, oh my god, I have no idea. Another one! What the fuck? They're dropping everywhere now. Was I doing something wrong before? If I get another one off this guy, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm done. This is fucked. Nah, didn't get one. GG. Holy fuck, look at all the dead bodies up here. What the actual fuck has happened? How are people dying? Holy fuck, look at them all. Feels bad man to be them guys. Okay, we just gotta get one more, man. One more and we're done. Please, draw, please. I feel like the women never give you an armband, but the men always give you an armband. Watch this man give me an armband, 100%. The women don't give you shit, man. This guy will give me an armband. Look at that. Easy. The women, man, don't kill the women. In fact, kill the women because they don't give you an armband. Fuck them. Okay, we completed this quest, but where do we have to go for scavenged goods? Search Death Nell and the vicinity for six pieces of scavenged goods and return them to Death Guard. Oh, I think I know that quest. Shit, yeah, it's the... I think it's the one on live where someone walks around with you and picks things up. Oh, no, that guy picks bodies up. Maybe they're just scattered about everywhere because it just says search this zone. That's all it says, you search the zone. Anyway, let's hand this in and let's see what, if he gives us another quest. I hope he gives us another quest because we need something in our lives right now. Yes, we get another quest. Gimme, give gimme give that quest, boy. Kill Meven Corgill, the messenger at the Crusader camp. So that's where I've just been. We need to go kill that guy now. Maybe we have to go all the way back up there for that scavenging quest. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna go check though, just in case. Because I do remember looting things around this area on live. I could be wrong. Ooh, there's a grave here. Is this where we uh, bring Samuel's remains? Or is this where we was like brought out of? I don't even know. I guess we just need to try and get the tag on this guy. Oh my god, he's there, he's there, he's there. Tag to No, I didn't get the tag. Fuck. Holy fuck. Sweat, I've literally just been stood there trying to tag that guy for so long. Anyways, let's hand this questing. Still not too sure what to do about the other two quests. There's an equipment box here. Maybe this is what it's talking about. Opening equipment box. Scavenged goods. Yes, let's go. So, we need to find equipment boxes. I'm guessing they're going to be scattered around these houses then. Still not too sure what to do about Samuel's remains, so we'll just have to keep going. Uh, we can't use any of these just yet. I mean, can I not use a staff as a priest? Oh, my inventory's full. Let me go sell something and I'll be back because I actually want the copper. Selling everything, boys. It's all going. Continue. Let me get that staff. Can't use it, but it's fine. Give me the next quest. Executor Aaron, gift me the quest. Take the road north out of Death Nell. Soon after entering Tyrius File proper, you'll hit a crossroads. Take the eastern fork and keep going east. You'll pass Cold Hearth Manor along the way. Deliver the Scarlet Crusade documents to Executor Zygand in Brill. Okay, that sounds like an interesting quest. We gotta go find out where that guy is. I got an idea, but like I said, I'm not 200% on exactly where that guy is. I do want to complete these other two quests first. So let's go look for some scavenged goods. And then we need to try and figure out what to do about fucking this one. Bring Samuel Phipps to Maria's grave, then return to Novice Elref. Samuel Phipps. Is that the... I think that's a, 
he's like a little boss along here somewhere. I think so. Does he spawn around this this location down here? Anyway, we know we know what to do about the scavenged remains now, so that's good. I'm tempted to just chill in this area for a little bit. I don't think anyone's gonna spawn here. Maybe he's further down. Let's just keep going down this path. Maybe it's further down. There's like a little hut there, so maybe it's down there. Oh, I see people. That's a good thing. I see level fours. Daniel Wolfman, whoever the fuck that guy is. Carol Grayers or whatever the fuck. We need Samuel Phipp. Samuel Phipps! Kill him! Nope! Oh, I didn't get the tag. Fuck. I'm never going to get a tag on this guy. You all need to piss off. I'm so proud of myself. I literally just figured a quest out. You all need to fuck off now so I can actually do the quest. I'm going to have to sit here and wait for Samuel Phipps to fucking come back. Fuck. I don't need Steven. I need Samuel. And then I got to take it to Mar uh, Maria's grave. And I think Maria's grave is the one that I was at earlier. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that tag. <laughs> if you have a spell that that does instant damage, you're going to be Gucci. But if you have if you have to cast to tag people, like, it's not going to work. I thought having Shadow would pain and make it Easy. Oh my sister, Samuel Flip, Samuel Flip. No, 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 please. Did I get him? Yes, I got him. Look at that. That priest used Shadow Word Pain instantly, but Shadow Word Pain doesn't do damage instantly, so he's not going to get the tag. That's why it's better to just cast Smite straight into the guy's face. Nice. We got his remains. Easy. I was just saying that. I thought having Shadow Word Pain would make it easier to tag mobs, but it honestly doesn't because it takes like two to three seconds for your Shadow Word Pain to actually tick once. So in that time, you might as well have just casted like a 1.3 second Smite. How fast is my Smite actually? 1.5 second it seems pretty fast so yeah having shadow Head pain really doesn't make it any easier i don't know if mages have an instant cast spell i know that mages cast a lot faster than shadow priest anyway well i'm not even a shadow priest yet i'm not even i've not even got the talents or anything i'm still a, i'm just a priest at the moment okay so we're gonna take this all the way up here and see if that that is actually the grave of maria i would think it would be the grave of maria because i mean why wouldn't it be do we actually have to look on the uh on the tombstones Surely not. Is this it? This is where the graves are. Which grave is it, boys? I'm probably in, like, the totally wrong location. Okay, let's go back to reading the quest. <laughs> Bring Samuel Phipps' remains to Myla's grave, then return. Where is Myla's grave? Is Myla's grave down here? I don't remember this quest on live. I know on live there used to be a set of graves here. Ooh, there's some graves over there. Is Myla's grave here? <gasps> Myla's grave's here! Let's go! We're burying... The remains with Myla. Easy quest, boys. That was actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit confused, though, as to where the fuck I needed to go. And then I just remembered, like, I'm sure there used to be a boss down there, though. Not a boss, but, like, a mob that you killed. Okay, I leveled up, so I'm level 6 now, so I can actually unlock powered shields. So that's sick. And we can unlock level 2 smite. What does this do? It's a 2-second cast now. Fuck. Can I keep level 1 smite too, please? Yes, I can. Oh, my God. I can't believe level 2 smite's fucking a 2-second cast. That's gonna be brutal. Till. I'm gonna put both of them on my bars because for tagging mobs, I want to use my number one first. Lesser heal, man. Look at that. 1.5 second cast and then the lesser two heal rank is like two second cast. What the fuck? Okay, I'm not gonna be using all the fucking ranks of spells, but I'm, I'm keeping them on my bars right now because, you know, I want faster cast time sometimes. Just for the moment, anyway. Okay, so we've not got any more quests off anybody, so we just gotta go complete the scavenge good quests and then we can continue. Well, I lie. We do have this quest, but that takes us out of this zone and we have this quest which is a priest quest but that's in a different place so let's just go search these houses and see if we can find any of the goods that we need to find we need to find the scavenge goods surely there's got to be something upstairs dead body wow no scavenge goods in this whole house really really blizzard i guess yeah okay they're all they're in the all it, it just vanished it literally just vanished. What the fuck? I'm guessing they're going to be in like the same spots as they are normally. And I'm wrong. They're not. We just got to keep walking around the houses and see if there is any. I can't believe I was literally just looting that one though. And it just vanished right in front of me. Like why? Why Blizzard? Why? I wonder how long I'm going to be running around these houses for trying to find these scavenged. Oh, there's some there. Go, 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 go. That's all good. These guys are on level two and three. They're not on this quest yet. This is a level six quest. Big boy quest. Only three more to get. That's not too bad. I think we can do that. Whoo. Right, one more after this and we're done. I'm sure there should be one here. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Let's go. Easy farm, boys. Right, let's go hand this quest in. I can't believe I've unlocked rank two smite and I don't even want to use it because it's a two second cast. A two second cast while being knocked back on your cast is going to be super long. Okay, we can take a belt or we can take a cape. I'm going to take the belt because it's got more armor. Armor me up, boys. Armor me up. Okay, so it looks like we've actually completed this zone. Now I've not got any more quests, so we actually need to go take a walk now. And I'm guessing it's going to be a very, very long walk because we have to walk all the way out of death now and then we have to walk all all the way to Brill. 
I think we walk into Brill. Anyway, we've not done no Lillian Voss quest. Was Lillian not in this expansion? Probably not. It's fine though. I think Lillian was in the Wrath of the Lich King expansion actually, when the Death Knights came about. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's take a look at the map. Like this, look at this map. No miss of Pandaria. You just got your little islands in the middle. You've got Kalimidor. You can't even zoom out. You can't even zoom any further out because there's no outland. There's no, there's none of that stuff. Look how nice it looks. Just nice, two, two worlds, like two, two zones. Like, fucking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm actually numb walking, by the way. I'm not just AFK looking at a map. I'm numb walking to my destination. Am I going the wrong way though? Because there's an arrow on my thing saying death now back up there. Let me just check my quest before I leave this place. Deliver the Scarlet. Crusade document to execute a Zygand in Brill. Okay, I know where Brill is. Oh, there's a quest. We need to stick to the roads too because if we go off the roads, we're probably gonna die. Hey mate, do me a favor for a young man who's been fighting more than his fair share of mindless zombies and spiders. I got this letter that needs to go to Brill. Okay, so we need to go to Brill and we need to give it to the innkeeper. Sure, bro, I'm on my way there anyway, so. It's easier for me to complete two quests in one. And there's a quest down there too. Let's go. Hopefully now that we're out of that little starting zone, it's gonna be a lot easier to do quests because there's not gonna be as many people. Holy fuck, I swear to God, I spent so long on quests back there. I spent like 30 minutes just on trying to collect fucking scavenged paws off those young wolves and trying to get those bat wings. It took so long. Okay, what was this quest? Because I didn't read it. Fields of grief, steal 10 pumpkins from the farm to the west, just north of Death Nell and take them. Okay, I know that quest. I think the farm is actually down here. Yeah, because you pass these two houses and then there's the fields. I hope collecting these pumpkins isn't going to be too bad. This actually looks fucking massive compared to live. I think on live, they've actually fenced a lot of it off. It's not just one big field. I could be wrong. Anyway, let's get collecting these pumpkins anyway, and uh, we can move on. You can tell we've killed a lot more mobs than these guys because some of these guys are like level four and five by level six. Easy peasy. Okay, we've handed that quest in. We're probably gonna have to hand it back in at Brill. So now we need to go back to... I'm gonna go back towards this direction, towards the roads, because off the top of my head, I don't know where Brill is. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's over here somewhere, over in this direction. So let's walk back over to the roads and uh, try to find our way to Brill. Oh my god, I'm being hit by like two farmers. Now three farmers, now four farmers. Is this where the death counter starts? Am I gonna have to insert death counter? Please don't kill me. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. The death counter is gonna be inserted in five, four, three, to don't hit me don't hit me hey let's go oh my fucking god those guys nearly had me holy shit look at my healing though my lesser heal heals me for a million though and it's got like a really short cast time easy peasy right so we've got some signs here brill is this direction you know when you see these signs on live and you look at them and it's like showing you the way to places you, you never like you never think about it you just think why the fuck have they put signs there i've got a big arrow on my minimap telling me where to go why do i need to see that but then you actually come back to play in classic and there's signs like this this is how leveling should be i don't think there should be a big arrow telling you like yo you need to go over here now you need to kill eight mobs and then you need to go all the way back down here and you're just following an arrow throughout the whole game i feel like they should have uh carried on with the way questing is in vanilla like they should have kept that system they shouldn't have started like bringing arrows into things and telling you what to do and where to go i feel like the adventure in vanilla is just insane like literally going up to signs reading them having to look at your quest log to figure things out. Like, this is a big part of the game. And on, on LiveWow, you don't you don't see any of this. On LiveWow, I literally never read a single quest. I just see that this quest says, like, loot this or kill this or go there, hand this in. I just do it. You know, there's no reading anything. This is how questing should be. I feel like they should have never left this system. I feel like I've been on this path for a while too, but Brill will be at the end of this path. I think it's there. Discovered Cold Hearth Manor. Now, I actually read something in my quest earlier. I picked that quest up off that guy, and he said, can you deliver something to the guy at Cold Hearth Manor? He was an innkeeper, it said. Was it an innkeeper? Greetings, train me. Oh, this is a tailorer. Cold Hearth Manor. Now, I remember this place, but where is... Oh, my God. Gordo. That's a good guy. What did that guy say about something? Hey, mate, will you do me a favor? Been fighting zombies for a while. Don't really matter. Ah, here it is. You'll pass Cold Hearth Manor along the way. So we just passed Cold Hearth Manor. And now we need to continue going up here. We're definitely going to get sent back all the way down here to do some quests. 
100%. Look, there's a quest there already. Executioner Zygand. Let's go and hand this in. Thank you very much. You got any more quests for me? You do indeed, you fucking legend. At war with the Scarlet Crusade. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Slay 10 Scarlet Warriors. Easy peasy. We got like another two or three quests to pick up and then we'll be good to go. Executor Zygand tells me you've been out killing Scarlet Crusaders. Well, not yet, but I will be in a bit. So, he's kind of right. Bring 10 Scarlet Insignia rings to the Death Guard. Yes. I will. No problem. You will get yourself some rings. Looks like we got another two quests in this house too. And we can go ahead and set in. Oh my god, the innkeeper music. Holy shit. Can you guys hear that? Holy fuck. The innkeeper music. Let's go. Make this in my home, please. Because we will be using the hearthstone. <laughs> Might as well get us, get us around faster. Oh my god, let me just go ahead and turn this music up for you guys, just in case you can't hear it. The fucking innkeeper music, boys. Our powers come from darkness and shadow MLZUI, but... That is not your only role. You have acknowledged that there is. But before you can know the dark, you must also know the light. And this I have to test you for. Find Death Guard, Kel, and heal his wounds using Lesser Heal Rank 2. Afterwards, grant him Powered Fortitude and then return to Dark Cleric Beryl in Brill. Easy. No problemo. Is there any more things I can learn? Holy fuck, there is. Oh my god, that is... Okay. Is this like every single spell? Like no filler? Let's go with available. So I've got no spells available, but if I click unavailable, oh my god, oh my god. Shadow magic, we got fade, mind blast, shadow and pain, psychic scream, mind blast, mind soothe. Soothes the target, reducing the range at which it will attack you by by 10 yards. Oh my god. Touch of weakness, the next melee attack against you causes 15 damage and reduces the damage caused by the attacker by four for four two minutes oh my god these spells devouring plague look at that oh my god it's gonna be a good time boys it's gonna be a good time anyways i'm gonna end this here hope you guys enjoyed this first episode we went from like level one to six which is pretty decent hit that like button if you enjoyed the first episode of this new series on the channel go ahead leave a comment down below let me know what class you're gonna be playing when classic drops hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>